LLC.com and today I'm going to do a little mini review on the protein and amino acids I've been using. Uh, I'm going to do reviews on a lot of stuff, everything I'm using and every time I get done with products after I use them for a while. I mean I can't do a review as soon as I get a product, you know. So uh, actually I've been using this for, this is my second batch, so I've been using it for about three months. Uh, it's BPI Sports Whey HD. I have it in chocolate and then, well, it's chocolate cookie, they call it. And then I have the amino acids, the best BCAA uh, by BPI Sports. And this one tastes really good, the fruit punch. It tastes almost like candy. Uh, these products actually are really good. Uh, the reason I know this is a good product is because when I stir it and mix it, you'll realize that not only does this have 5 grams of BCAAs, which is good, but it also has CLA matrix in it to help burn some fat. So if you're trying to lose some fat, this product is definitely good and I like that especially right now because I'm getting ready for my competition. So it's definitely uh, helping out especially I sweat a lot with CLA for some reason it makes me sweat. Uh, you can tell it's a good product because when I start mixing it, it blends real nicely and then you can see the amino acids in it. That's That's a that's when you know, like doing my nutrition schooling and stuff, uh, I never knew until I did that schooling that amino acids don't completely break down and if they do then it's not good amino acids. And if it's not good amino acids then why am I drinking it, you know? So this is, that's definitely a good product and the whey protein is actually really good. Um, I get really picky after doing my nutrition schooling on the ingredients of proteins and there's has really good ingredients. It's only 160 calories, 5 grams of carbohydrates, uh, 25 grams of protein, has 250 milligrams of calcium, which is always good. And it doesn't have as much, it doesn't have all the like fillers and stuff that a lot of these protein companies have been putting in their products. Uh, that's what I look for a lot. And they have like another third party that actually tests in all the quality of their products. That's why I think they're so good. If you can see they both have a little stamp on there. Uh, you, the guy that owns this actually, he does a lot of videos on YouTube too and I really like his stuff. I think he is a good person. He knows what he's talking about. He, he knows what needs to be in protein especially as he is always like teaching people online about stuff and you definitely this is definitely a good product and I'll probably definitely come back to this I'm gonna try another protein for a little bit um, but if I don't like it I'll probably come back to this and their amino acids so so far I've been testing products for years and now that I'm just starting to do reviews it kinda of sucks because I could have got done probably 99% of all the products out there with reviews so uh, hopefully I continue to use keep using different ones so I can do more reviews for you guys uh, unless I look at the product and I see the ingredients being bad before I buy it I will not buy a protein that has bad stuff in it alright so if you have a question about protein a different uh, like a certain brand or something if it has anything uh, comment below and I'll be glad to like answer you so you don't pick a bad protein so you don't start getting all those different fillers and chemicals and stuff that some of these companies put in uh, if you notice a lot of the ones that are more expensive are usually more pure and especially when you go to different types of protein like this one has whey protein concentrate, milk protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, and milk protein isolate. Uh, well, mostly all whey protein comes from milk anyway, but people don't realize that. Uh, it's break down through the kernels. That it's when it's filled when milk's filtered, the kernels that are left kind of like cottage cheese. Well, that's broken down and separated, and that's where you get the whey protein. So whey protein is actually considered the best for your body and it actually your body absorbs the most of it and isolate is just a broken down filtered version of regular whey protein and whey protein concentrate which helps go into your bloodstream a lot faster but you start to lose some of the bonds and then when you go to the 
the next one, whey protein isolate, hydroslate, I'm getting all mixed up, hydroslate, uh, that is even broke down a third time or a fourth time, depending on the company, and it is instantly, like it goes right through your bloodstream, which is good, especially if after getting done a workout or before you're going into a workout, if you need something. The only problem with it is it's it's broken down so far where I don't think you get as much nutrition as you do with like a regular whey protein. So that's why I always recommend regular whey protein or whey isolate because I just don't think you need to break it down anymore. Uh, especially if you have a fast metabolism like me, it's your body's gonna break that stuff down quick anyway. So, but some people that have problems with digesting regular whey protein, whey isolate, I would go with them. So, if you guys uh, have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll be glad to answer. And that's my review for today. Have a good one, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you want more videos and more reviews to come.